In this video, we'll look at the reaction between RBOH plus HNO3. This is rubidium hydroxide and nitric acid. So when we look at this, this is going to be a neutralization reaction. That's because we have water and a salt on this side, HNO3, that's nitric acid, and then rubidium hydroxide. You see a metal and the OH, the hydroxide, that's a base. So metal and base give us salt, water. This is neutralization. So when you look at balancing the molecular equation, this equation here, it's actually already balanced. And if you had problems, it's probably because you counted this oxygen, maybe forgot these. So we have three plus one, four oxygens on the reactants. Then on the products, we have this three here plus this one here. So four oxygens on the products. And then everything else is the same. We have one, two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one rubidium, and then one here. So it's a balanced molecular equation. We could go on and write the net ionic equation for this. The first thing we would do is we'd look at the states, we'd split the electrolytes up, get our complete ionic equation, cross out our spectator ions, and then we'd have our net ionic equation. So let's do that, give ourselves some room here and figure out the net ionic equation for RBOH plus HNO3. If we looked at the solubility of each of these substances, whether they would dissociate in water, they're, they're strong electrolytes essentially, we'd see that rubidium hydroxide, that's aqueous, that's gonna dissolve in water. And then nitric acid is very soluble. It's a strong acid, so it's gonna dissociate completely. Nitrates are almost always soluble in water, so they'll dissolve completely. And then water, that's a weak electrolyte, so that's gonna be a liquid. That won't break apart to any appreciable degree. So those are the states. We could now split things up into the ions. So rubidium group one has a one plus charge. Hydroxide has a one minus, that's a good one to remember. Hydrogen group one, positive charge. Nitrate has a one minus ionic charge, and then we have our plus minus, and this is a weak electrolyte, so we don't write the charges for that. We're gonna keep this together in our net ionic equation. So let's split them up into their ions, Rb, plus, and I won't write aqueous for each one of these ions, we'll do that at the end, plus OH minus, plus the H plus in the nitric acid, and then in the products, we have the RB plus, that's a strong electrolyte because it's aqueous, so that'll split apart. The nitrate, also aqueous, and we don't split the water apart, so that's a liquid. So this is our total ionic equation. We'll cross out the spectator ions. They're the same on the both sides. So we have rubidium ion here in the reactants and in the products, cross it out. Then we have the nitrate ion in the reactants and in the products, we cross that out. So we're left with this OH minus, H plus, and then that yields H2O. That is our net ionic equation. We could clean this up and write it like this. So this would be the net ionic equation. Usually you'll see the H plus written first. Let's do that. And this would be the net ionic equation for RBOH plus HNO3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.